Hello and happy Monday. I had a great weekend and I hope you had a great weekend too. Um, so today um, I have a great announcement. Um, my darling daughter has made a um, YouTube channel for me. So I, or she actually, um, has put all of the stories I've done so far on, um, on a YouTube channel. It's Carlson's Corner, just like this is. So um, sometimes I think it might be easier to get on uh, YouTube than to be able to get on Facebook. So after I do it on here, then um, we'll switch it and put over there. But right now, there all the stories I've done before are already on there. And today, we are going to do a story called Monty and Millie. And it is by Tracy Corduroy and Tim Warns. And this is a story where there's a lot in the, um, there's not as many words, but a lot of things happen in the pictures. So I'll try and make sure I get the pictures close up so you can see. Uh, Monty, Millie, and the totally amazing magic trick. Everything that Monty did, Millie did too. When Monty roared, roar. Millie roared, roar. When Monty painted, Millie did too. So whenever Monty curled up with his favorite book, guess who always showed up with her? hers. Read to me, Monty, please. Then Monty got a magic set. Yay! One wand, one cape, one book, one hat. No, Millie. He said, it is meant for one, me. So, um, she took it rather well, considering. <laughs> Monty began with a vanishing trick. Kazam, he cried. Kazam. Kazoom! <sighs> but it was no good. <sighs> Croaky just wouldn't disappear. Really? Actually, piped up Millie, magicians always shut their eyes. Monty shut his eyes. Kazam, he said. He peeked through his fingers. <gasps> He'd done it! Whoopee, yelled Monty, I'm magic. But something, hmm, just didn't feel quite right. Millie, cried Monty. Uh-oh. His sister sniffed. Well, uh, I only wanted to help. Well, don't, Monty scowled. But then Monty remembered. All the best magicians had helpers. Okay, he said, you can help but no taking over. Uh, me? Squeaked Millie, but I never take over. Ever. Okay, Millie tried not to take over. Watch this, Monty. And she tried again and again. <gasps> 
Whoops. Rip. Snap. Uh-oh. That's it! yelled Monty. I wish that you'd turn into a warty toad and disappear! <laughs> For the rest of the day, Monty practiced his magic without Millie's help. He practiced on his tadpole, who didn't complain. Pick a card, any card. He practiced on his uh, grandma, who did complain. Wait a minute. Sometimes things went a little bit wrong, but Monty didn't care. Being by himself for once was fun. Monty! said Dad. Where's Billy? It's snack time. Have you seen her? Monty checked behind his back and then he checked around his legs and Millie wasn't in any of her usual places. Nope, he shrugged. No, Millie. Then he gasped. <gasps> oh no! Oh no! I I think I turned my sister into a warty toad. Monty sniffed. I, I, I didn't mean it. I, I love her, really. Surprise! Squealed Millie, shooting out from under the table. She gave Monty a huge Millie hug. Phew. You didn't magic me into a really into you didn't magic me really silly. <laughs> she giggled. Later, when Monty snuggled into bed, Millie snuggled in too. Monty, she said sleepily. Oh, you are magic, I'm sure. Really? grinned Monty. Very really, Millie grinned back. She closed her eyes and he closed his. Think of a huge fluffy bunny, she yawned, and I bet you'll magic it up. I wish, smiled Monty drifting off to sleep. The wand slipped from his fingers and... <gasps> Kazam! The end. <gasps> he really was magic! <laughs> so, um... Our other story that I'm going to do today, um, this was one when my kids were learning how to read. They loved reading this story over and over and over again. Um, and it is called Two Crazy Pigs. Maybe some of you have read this one. By Karen Bergen Nagel and illustrated by Brian Chattel. I think that's how you say it. Two Crazy Pigs. We are two crazy pigs. We lived on the Fenster Farm. We tickled the hens while they were laying eggs. Stop that, you crazy pigs, yelled Mr. Fenster. We tied the cows' tails together when they were giving milk. Stop that, you crazy pigs, yelled Mrs. Fenster. <laughs> Instead of rolling in the mud, we threw it at each other. Stop that, you crazy pigs, yelled Mr. and Mrs. Fenster. Oops. 
pack your bags and leave, yelled Mr. and Mrs. Fenster. All the animals cried. <laughs> we'll miss you, crazy pigs. We went down the road to Mr. and Mrs. Hanghawk's farm. Uh, do you have any room for two crazy pigs? <laughs> Mr. Hanghawk made us a new pen. Woohoo! And he laughed when we dipped the sheep's tail in ink. <laughs> Mrs. Hanock let us make mud pies on her stove. One day, the Fenster's cow came to visit. Will you please come back to the farm? Shirley asked. The hens are not laying any eggs, and the cows have stopped giving milk. Nope, we said. Mr. and Mrs. Hanhawk love us for who we are. Two crazy pigs. So we pulled Shirley's tail and said goodbye. Then she went back to the Fenster Farm. One week later, all the Fenster's animals came to the Hanhawk Farm. Shirley spoke. The Fensters have moved to the city. Do you have room for all of us here? Oh my. Mr. and Mrs. Hanhawk asked all the animals to live on their farm. We were very happy to have our friends back. We rubbed everybody's faces in mud. And we jumped on the hen hawk's feather bed for two hours. We were so happy. Let's visit the fensters in the city for old time's sake, we said. Are you? Are, are you kidding? Asked Mr. Hen hawk. Are you sure? Asked Shirley. No, we're just crazy. That end. Um, and that's two books. I'm a couple minutes early, but I just, in case you see this later, um, just I, I started a YouTube channel. I'm all I'm doing is just putting on the books from here over onto the YouTube from Facebook over to YouTube. Just. Um, Sometimes it seems like it's easier to to get onto YouTube than it is to get on Facebook. So um, thanks for watching today, and we'll see you tomorrow.